Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Black Rock Foundry Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. This time we're going to be looking at Flamebender Kagraz. You will all burn! This fight consists of one phase which repeats itself and that's due to her energy cycle. She'll go from 0 to 100, then reset to 0 and go through it all again. The first thing you want to do in this fight is take care of Aknox Steelbringer. He doesn't really do anything dangerous, but he does run interference. Nuke him down as quickly as possible. Kagraz is going to use two abilities throughout the fight regardless of energy. The first one is Lava Slash. This is going to target a random ranged member and draw a line of fire from the boss to them. If anybody is within 7 yards of them, it will also chain to that target, so make sure the range is spread out at least 7 yards. Her other ability is Summon Enchanted Armament. This will summon some fiery swords which slash the air around them every 3 seconds. Make sure you stay away from these swords and you should be fine. Her first new ability will come at 25 energy and this is Molten Torrent. It's going to target a random ranged member and after 4 seconds deal a huge amount of damage, split evenly across anyone it hits. Any ranged member who gets this wants to take it to the melee group, split it across everyone there and then spread out when everything's finished. Her second new ability comes at 50 energy and she'll summon two Cinder Wolves. These are very important to the fight. One of them will overheat and needs to be tanked by the off tank. That will do a breath attack which needs to be faced away from the raid and it'll need to be swapped later. The other one will start fixating on ranged members and they need to kite it in front of the other ranged. Basically there's a fire link which connects the two wolves. If that goes across a raid member it'll give them a debuff very similar to Blaze from Twin Ogron except it can be dispelled. Make sure nobody's in that fire link. After a little while, those wolves are going to swap, so the one that was fixating will overheat and needs to be picked up by the tank who is tanking the boss. Then the one who is tanking the small wolf takes the boss. Nice little tank switch. The one that was overheated will go to fixate. Make sure the fire link is being dealt with and nuke down those dogs. They need to die within 8 seconds of each other, otherwise they revive. Kagras will gain a new ability at 75 energy, which is Blazing Radiance, a very easy debuff to deal with. It will target a random ranged member and they'll start pulsing for fire within 10 yards. That person simply needs to stay away from everyone else. At 100 energy, Kagras will start channeling Firestorm. Now before she gets to 100 energy, you'll want to take her somewhere clean, without any weapons, without any fire, because you need to stack up. One person is still going to have Blazing Radiance, so make sure they stay out until that debuff falls off. Stack up and use some healing cooldowns. You'll need to rotate your cooldowns because you're going to deal with more than one Firestorm. After Firestorm has been channeled, she'll go back to zero energy and the fight restarts, except she has two new abilities. After that first Firestorm, she'll gain Magma Monsoon, which drops balls of magma on the ranged groups. Make sure you avoid the swells, and that's really easy to deal with. The other ability is Flame Fury. This will start applying a stacking damage over time effect on your tanks, which will need to be swapped every 8 seconds. And that's pretty much the fight. The biggest issue here is that if the Cinder Wolves are still alive when she starts casting Firestorm, they'll cast a Firestorm of their own, wiping your group. Make sure you're dealing with all of the abilities as best you can, and your DPS really need to be on point. There's a soft enrage here in that the armaments don't despawn, so eventually you're going to run out of room, and if that happens, you're going to wipe. But that should be everything you need to take down Flamebender Kagraz on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Feel free to check out any of my other guides for Blackrock Foundry, Normal and Heroic. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.